Rwanda district local government officials led by the district LC5 chairperson and Pele Stephen Kasiaba have verified six students for the district quota admission scheme for the 2024-2025 academic year. The six students who performed exceptionally well in last year's USCE exams are all from schools in Rwanda districts. The students are Twichili Zebeti, Ayabale Beti from St. Agatha Girls Secondary School, Kakole, Nuatwine Anita and Alinda Pamela from Moko High School, Kato Desmas from Bufun the college from wherever the honest from Wale Secondary School. Addressing the students and their head teachers at the district headquarters, the chairperson Kasiaba challenged the students to appreciate their parents' support. He warned them that many students are often distracted by earthly pressures and tempted by sugar daddies and mummies who may ultimately harm their lives. Kasiaba emphasized that academic qualifications should be their top priority and job prospects should only be considered after graduation. Sisters and brothers appreciate whatever you get from home, however you get peace. You be put in a hole, in a room, with someone from a well family. Do not look at his wealth or her wealth. Concentrate on your books. You did not go to Makerede to buy a TV, to buy a car, and have good life. You are just going to those universities to study acquire skills and be important persons in the future. I therefore want to request you that you do not forget where you have come from. That is the fundamental principle that will take you ahead. Every time, look at where you have come from. Forget, don't forget your parent, don't forget your father, don't forget your structure of a home. All of you come from humble families. Because when I see from here, I see your villages, I'm certainly sure that none of you will buy a car at the university. A car is not important at your age. What is important is to acquire skills and study. Be honest. Be friendly. Create your networks. Expand your network. Your networking is your net worth. You understood that statement? It is an economic term. Tell me your network, I will tell you how much you are. Do not go to create enemies in your haram. That's not what has taken you to school. So the moment you begin in two those ones, you know that that's the beginning of failure. I just want to request you that you go to school to acquire to get your documents and do not think about jobs. There are so many jobs out there. The first principle is books first. First things first. Your first thing will be to acquire the books and the papers. Then the second thing will be to look for jobs. But you think of jobs only in the first year. <laughs> That is the beginning of failure. Now that you have been able to make good results from these schools, which some of you will be saying that you guys you came from third world schools, you have got a chance to compete with people who came from first class schools, and you have got a chance to prove them wrong. It's now the time for you to prove them wrong. That even when you went to Namagunga, I'm better than you. And if suddenly you make friends with these ones, they will come to you and they will say, Oh, Anita, oh, do for me this coursework, do for me the other things. And that's how you create the network.
Kasiaba attributed the students' high performance to the unity among her teachers, the district political team, and technical staff. He also mentioned that under their leadership as LC5 chairpersons, they are advocating for an increase in the number of students taken under the quota system, aiming to increase the number to 10 to 15 students. Uh, in I want to congratulate the students for the uh, good performances and we look more to improvement. Now, under our leadership as the LOCs, LOC files, we are advocating for an increase in the number of students that are taken under quota system in districts to up to 10 to 15 uh, students. If we achieve this, uh, the engagement we shall have with His Excellency, the President, to come in September, we want to advocate for an increase the number of students that benefit on the quota system. For instance, now the cutoff was 19 for our district, 19 points, but uh, there are so many students there who got 18 and uh, 17, and that is also good performance, who some of them have missed out on direct government entry and who come also from humble families. So you realize if the number had increased to 15, we would have had uh, substantial number of students uh, from this district going to study on these uh, government institutions or government universities. Some of the students, Niwatwine, Anita, Alinda, Pamela, and Kato Dismas, encourage their fellow students in secondary schools to work hard and strive for similar success in order to benefit from the government's district quota admission scheme. I urge my fellow students who are still in secondary to work hard and pray to God and above all to be well disciplined to reach at their careers. Mazina Ganje Nikato this month Kuga Igumanda Parish Nani Ledger of the College Kachere Nanda Chuara Make Mass and Swahili Stroke ICT Na Korea points Bikumina Munan the Shemele Gomunonga Kushangana Yanaja Murabu Bamme Abaja District Kota Ngenu Dahabura Abeji Abej Bona, Peter Rianga Jona, Ujang Babaseku, Shome Saman, Ba Kole Cooperation, Ba Discussing, Nishoshira Valetere, Kuika Kande Chinda Shua Kaba Shava. Ba vision is of Gire Bugabo, moving the video productive, a better was a valetera. I am really so glad to be here in the district quarter. I think that other students passed very well, but they were unable to reach us this time. But for us who are chosen, we don't take it for granted. And my first students, I advise them that they read very hard. Spend sleepless night because it's not easy to get the points when you're, when you're sleeping. And they're also saying the teacher because he did much to us. Otherwise, I wish you well. Memory Guma Aguma for iTelevision.